All right, good morning, first year class, MUCT 105L class. This is the remote lecture for week six. All right, we talked <coughs> in Friday's, in week five Friday class, a little bit about the minor mode that that was coming. So let's introduce, first, let's go ahead and get warmed up since we're gonna be singing uh, scales, uh, a number of scales this, uh, for this remote lecture. Let's go ahead and get warmed up on the scale that we do know, the major scale. Just perfect. All right. Let me think of a couple of brief adjustments. The reasons will become clear in a moment. Great. Okay, so for the major scale, we remember that the scale uh, has certain proportions in it. It has half steps that exist at a particular place, and that's what gives the major mode its particular feel, its particular sound, where the tendencies are. Anytime you have a half step as opposed to a whole step, you have the tendency for it to move one way or the other. And in the major scale, those tendencies are between the third and the fourth scale degree, and the seventh and the eighth, or the seventh and the first, because they're octaves, and if they're octave, we have the octave equivalence, which we talked about on um, on last Friday's class, where the C and the C are basically the same, of course, separated by an octave. So it's not a new scale degree, it's just this one again. So but here are the half steps between Mi Fa and Ti Do. Do, Re, Mi Fa, Mi Fa, Mi Fa. So you've got more of a magnetic attraction here. Sol, La, Ti Do, Ti Do, Ti Do. And kind of a magnetic attraction here as well because of the half step relationship of those two pitches, okay? That's the major scale, those are the syllables that we know. Now we're going to talk about the minor scales. Now, we are going to learn three minor scales today. Now before you panic, um, it's not three completely different scales that have no relation to either major or each other, everything is related. The three minor scales that we're going to learn are, uh, are close relatives, so that's actually not a whole bunch of stuff we're going to have to learn that's new. It's just different ways of thinking of things, so don't panic. Let's start with the first of the minor scales that uh, we're going to learn. The first one is quite naturally called the natural minor scale. Natural minor. Now, the natural minor scale is different from the major scale in three respects because I'm going to add three flats. Now you remember because you guys have been working on your uh, key signatures, you know that the difference between a flat, uh, major key and a minor key is three flats. For instance, F major has one flat in the key signature where F minor has four flats in the key signature. So the difference is three flats. It's the same with sharps, it's just you're taking sharps away. So the key of E major has four sharps, and the key of E minor, adding three flats or taking the three sharps away, has one sharp. So the difference is always going to be three notes that are flatted or lowered compared, um, compared to the, uh, the major key that is based on the same note. So in this case, we have C major, now we want to find C natural minor. We're going to have to lower three pitches and those are these three. The third scale degree, the sixth scale degree, and the seventh scale degree. I'll write it both ways here so we can make sure we've got it. And generally, if we were singing something out of the Berkowitz book in this key, 
these three flats will be reflected in the key signature, not here in the actual scale. This is just to illustrate what we're doing, what we're lowering. Okay, so two things we need to learn. One, where are the half steps now? Where are the tendency tones now? In the major scale, of course, we knew they were between the third and fourth scale degree and the seventh and the eighth scale degree. That is no longer the case because we've dropped the notes now. Here is where the half steps are now. They are now between the second and third scale degree and between the fifth and sixth scale degree. So our tendency tones have shifted. They're in different places now than they had been before. So the scale is going to be treated just a little bit differently. Let's talk about solfege. What do we do in solfege when we add an accidental to a note? Well, there's a pretty hard and fast rule that's going to work almost all the time except for one time. And we don't, in that one exception, we don't even have to worry about right now. So we're lucky. What you do when you add a flat, when you lower a note in solfege, is you take the consonant sound, so that's the, the first part of the solfege show, the d of do, the r of re, the m of mi, that stays the same. Okay, it's going to start the same way. What you're going to do is you're going to take the vowel sound, which is the second half, the uh, o of do, the a of re, the e of mi, the a of fa, and you're going to change it. And you're going to change it the same way every time, almost every time, but we're not going to worry about the exception right now. So for instance, we're going to take mi, and we're going to take that E sound and throw it away, and we're going to replace it with the A sound, the A sound. So mi will become me, and that's what you do when you drop something. So la will become le, t will become te. Now what if, what if we sharp or raise a note? It's a similar rule. You take the vowel sound and you add the E sound. So if you took this do right here and added a sharp, it would be D. If you took this re and added a sharp, it would be re. If you took this fa and added a sharp, it would be fi. And lucky for us, there are no exceptions to this rule. It always is going to work in exactly that way. It's going to be a while before we uh, start sharpening notes, though. Uh, but for right now, we're going to flat notes, but only three of them for the present time. Mi becomes me, la becomes le, ti becomes te. Let's go ahead and sing through this scale. I'll play it on the piano first. Don't sing it at first, just listen to it on the piano, and then we'll sing it together. time. Repeat this as many times as you need to until you feel confident that you know the natural minor scale. Okay, let's go to the next scale. The next scale is, that we will learn, is the harmonic minor scale. Harmonic minor. And like I told you, once we learn the natural scale, actually I haven't told you this yet, but once we learn the natural scale, we've learned all the new things that you're going to need to learn. All the, new, uh, all the new pitches, all the new solfege syllables, all the new flats, after you've learned natural minor, that's all that you're going to have to learn for the new scales for a while yet. There's going to be end of the year we're going to get into some other scales, but for now, this is it. Harmonic minor is different from natural minor in only one respect, and that is here. We do not, we do not lower the seventh scale degree, so that's going to stay at T. Now I'm going to put a little natural here, not because you would need to put that, but just to remind you that this is, um, this is one way it is different from the harmonic minor scale. Alright, let's try this one. I'll go ahead and play this, and uh, then we'll sing it. and T 
T, and that's a big interval between Le and T, so make sure that you're sitting up nice and straight. Let's sing it. Do, re, re. scale ascending and descending because it's the same either way this is the reason why we now go to the melodic minor mode and here are the differences this is a unique scale it's the only uh, of the, the normal scales that we use that is different ascending as it is descending it's different going up than it is going down and here's how so going down, let's do that one first. This one will be familiar. Te, le, and me. So going down, it's the same as natural minor. Going up is where it's different. The me is the same, but that's it. Le and te are raised back to what it is in major mode. La and ti. La T. So as you're going up to Do, they are raised just as in major mode, and when you're going away from Do, they are lowered. Let's go ahead and listen to it on the piano, and let's see what we can do. Ready? series of videos where I uh, delve into each of these three scales at a little bit of a different uh, different level. It's going to be my little series of secrets of the scales, but for right now it's just important that you know uh, which of the uh, which scale you're in. So you should have actually written all of these down. You can always go back and uh, just freeze the frame and write these down. Um, I'll keep the melodic minor behind me. Now let's open up your Berkowitz book. Open up your Berkowitz book and let's, um, let's sing through a couple examples, just uh, two or three um, examples in the different minor modes. So open up your Berkowitz book with me, please, to page 11. To page 11. And there you see the three scales, natural, harmonic, and melodic, written down uh, in case you want to review them or see them uh, just in a slightly different way with the, uh, using the key signatures. But let's go ahead and start with number 36 near the bottom of page 11, number 36. You see there are two flats there, and that is G minor, G minor. Now if we look at this, we see there are no accidentals, no sharps, no flats, or any other chromatic alterations of this line at all, and so that should tell us that it is natural minor mode. Let me go ahead and roll the chord on G minor. Let me count off and sing number 36 with you. Sing it with me. One, two, three, do, re, re, fa, sol, le, so, so, fa, me, re, me, fa, so, fa, me, Good. That was a good example.
example of natural minor mode. Now let's look at number 37. This is also in the key of G minor. But you might have noticed a lot of F sharps. F sharp is T in G minor, G major as well. So uh, if we see just that, we should know we've got that raised seventh scale degree. That is indicative of harmonic minor. Oh, let's go ahead and sing through this one. I will give you a subdivided measure. And let's try it in 4 4. 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and Do, Ti, Do, Re, Do, Re, Me, Fa, So, Fa, Me, Re, Me, Re, Do, Ti, Do, Re, Me, Fa, So, Fa, Me, Fa, Me, Re, Me, Re, Do, Ti, Do. All right. Turn the page. Let's do one more. Let's do one more. On page 12, number 38. Number 38 is in the key of E minor. two, four times, so I'll give you two measures subdivided, and we'll go through this one. Now, again, the mode, you see there the third measure from the end, D sharp, that's T. You also see the C natural, which is Le, so we know for sure that we are dealing with the harmonic minor mode. So, one and two and one and two. Do, re, me, fa, so, fa, so, le, so, fa, so, so, fa, me, re, do, ti, do, re, me, re, do. All right. And be sure that you um, repeat these examples, uh, 36, 37, 38, as many times as you need, as well as the scales, until you feel really, really comfortable singing in the scales. So when I come back from New Orleans, and we do, uh, we meet again um, a week from uh, Friday, so Friday of week seven, um, I'll have had a number of assignments using, uh, and, and singing exercises using the minor modes, so I'll expect that you'll know this stuff by then. We'll also go over the gestures and other things. Um, because the gestures also exist in the minor modes as well. Okay? And sometimes they have a slightly different feel, can, can be kind of interesting. So, um, good luck. And um, next, uh, the, the Friday, remember uh, Friday's class, there's no class because I am in New Orleans for a conference. But uh, I will be communicating with you uh, with the secrets of the scales and some other activities that I'm going to be having you do uh, at that time. Okay, we'll see you when I get back.